Hello, welcome to our homecoming episode. I'm Tani here with the Victoria, and we're here to discuss about homecoming. Last Friday, at the end of the school day, Sen had a pep rally at the center. They introduced all the sports team, and most importantly, our homecoming football team. That atmosphere was very energetic and supportive. Shout out to all the sports teams. Let's roll the clip of the pep rally. <laughs> I'm Michelle from Fong and I'm here with Zakia Dunbar. All right, today's question is What's the best Send Fall sports team? The best Send Fall sports team is cross country. All right, thank you. I love Spirit Week. It was a lot of fun to dress up and to see everyone's outfits. What are you dressed up as today? Today I'm just as a student. It's too hot right now, but I was wearing a black hoodie which sends students love. But also, since today was dressed as a teacher day, I wore my teacher hoodie from my school in Taiwan. So I did uh, dress as a student and as a teacher. What's one thing you like about Spirit Week this week? Ooh, I really liked getting to wear my bell bottoms on Decades Day. I got to go all 70s, and I look for any excuse to wear my bell bottoms. So what do you think about the Spirit Week? Um, I think it was very creative, actually. I really liked it, I guess. All right, our question for you is, what's your favorite part of your cheer routine? Ooh, um, I would say the majorette little part, but, um, oh, I gotta do actually, but I see. Thank you. Shortly after the pep rally, we had a homecoming football game, followed by the homecoming dance. The thing was happily ever after, and we saw amazing outfits throughout the night. Everyone had fun and celebrated Jamonte and he left a senior's homecoming team and queen. Shout out to the all homecoming kings and queens. Let's take a look at the party. <laughs> What's your name? Antonio. And Anissa. I don't know what, what y'all got on. What y'all got on? You know, I got that Versace. You know. <laughs> what you got on? What you got on? Windsor dress. It was amazing. Windsor shoes. Beautiful. Thank you. What, what y'all got on? What y'all got on? I, know, I got the, the calm little tee. You know, the calm little pants. I don't even know. And then. Uh, what are the shoes? What are the shoes? From? Uh, ex what's that? What's it called? I don't remember. Hey, what you got on? What you got on? What you got on? Shoes from Windsor. Dress from Forever 21. Vintage. I'm Antonio with Sin TV, and I'm here with Enrique. Enrique. So, uh, what, what, um, what inspired this fit? I love, I love what you got going on, but what inspired it? Yeah, honestly, I got some, I got some friends that, that were in the military, right? So I thought, you know what, I'll just make some, so much of that, you know, dedication to them. I love it, man. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy the night. Last week, we saw tons of teachers and students dressing up for Spirit Week. We had the drama day, cartoon day, they can say, and more. Let's check it out. Homecoming news. Let's send it over to the school. Send Bulldogs. My name is Eldon Wojkanovic. And I'm Lisa Kurtu, here to deliver your Send School news. This week, the 9th, 10th, and 11th graders took their yearbook photos. Seniors will take their yearbook photos on Tuesday, December 10th. More information to come from this moment. Seniors, caps and gowns will be sold on October 30th 
and November 13th for $29. Also, here's a reminder to send your baby photos to the yearbook club. Check your emails from Ms. Bowman for the link. SEND's open house is on Sunday, October 20th. Students in middle school are coming to SEND to see what our school is all about. Bulldog Build today will be on October 25th. Look out for emails from Ms. Bowman going over details. Remember, you will be in the same community service groups as last time. First quarter is ending on October 25th, followed by parent-teacher conferences on November 4th. Get those grades up before the end of the quarter. Three more quarters to go, Bulldogs. That's it for, for school news. Now, let's send it over to How To, where they give you some life-changing advice. Hey, Bulldogs. With homecoming happening on October 11th, we saw a bunch of couples, but we also saw a lot of seniors. Today, we're going to teach y'all how to get a homecoming date. Step one is making sure you have a good smell team, but bring out your best cologne, add some deodorant, and take a shower too while you're at it. Okay. Sometimes I'll be having on that, so be But you know, cologne can have a lasting impression on who you're trying to ask out, so make sure you have that right. Step two, this shouldn't be nothing new. To have a homecoming day, you gotta find someone to be that day. Your plan should be to find some fine shit and make sure she is a 10. It's something you find interesting. Step three. Make sure you listen closely. Always make sure to have confidence, get a poster, some flowers, and maybe even some chocolates. But if she says no, don't be scared of rejection because there will always be room for more opportunity. Remember, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Step four, if she says yes, make sure to continue the charm. Before the dance comes, maybe ask her to dinner. Maybe just talk to her more and get more acquainted. Step five may be the most important step. Make sure the night of you give her the best impression. Follow all the previous steps. And pick her up smelling and looking good to impress her and her parents and make your way to having a fun time at the dance. And if you won't dance with your girl, we will. Yeah. Anyways, Bulldogs, that's it for our how-to homecoming tips. We're going to send it over to Brandon Ariaga for the weather. and Bulldogs. My name is Brandon Arriaga and I'm here to deliver our SEND weekly weather report. As you already know, it's starting to be that time of year where it's all tricks and treats. But before we discuss our current weather in Chicago, we'll talk about Hurricane Milton and the disaster relief taking place in the Gulf and Atlantic coasts of Florida. Nearly 350,000 people are still without power. For those who lost power to their homes and businesses, that's five days without electricity. Disasters like Milton knocked out power and water. Non-perishable foods and cases of water are huge necessities to the communities. Convoy of Hope is on the ground in Florida distributing ready-to-eat meals, water, groceries, hygiene supplies, and more to the people in need. Now, on to our weather segment. From what it seems like, the weather is going to be nice and warm for the remainder of the week. Lots of sunshine all weekend. Today, the weather will be a high of 66, sunny with a low 43. Tomorrow, it will be a high of 68 degrees, sunny with its low at 45. Sunday, it will be a high of 72, sunny with its low at 47. Monday, it will be a high of 72, sunny with its low at 49. And on Tuesday, it will be a high of 67, cloudy with its low at 51. That's all for weather. Let's take a look at our entertainment segment of the week. Israel, and today I will be reviewing Season 1 of Arcane League of Legends. The critically acclaimed animated television series developed and created by Riot Games, video game studio behind the show's predecessor, League of Legends, a popular video game sharing the same title. In the first season of Arcane, the story takes place in a fictional city known as Piltover, an academic and creative city known for its fascinating discoveries and innovation. However, as time grew, the more prestigious and rich citizens of Piltover grew disgusted to the more poor demographic of the city that had blasphemous views that went against their beliefs, which struck war, leading to the rogues being casted away to the outskirts of Piltover, forcing them to forge their own home, now known as the Underground. Years after, four kids from the Underground break into a penthouse located in Piltover to find goods to sell. However, while raiding this penthouse, Powder, younger sister of V, discovers a strange power source in the form of a stone that ends up blowing up the penthouse. 
Thankfully, they exit Piltover in one piece, with Powder still possessing the strange stone, which caused massive conflict between the two sides. Can these sides learn to accept each other as human and work together, or will they tear each other apart for their own selfish gain? Throughout the development of Arcane, there was a delay near the end of its development, causing for production to come to a sudden halt due to Netflix's poor state at the time, forcing the platform to prioritize other medias. But in the end, they pushed past the delays and managed to release one of Netflix's highest rated pieces of media yet. The reason why I'm recommending Arcane, League of Legends, is because of its quirky and unique art style, as well as the compelling story and characters of Piltover and the Underground, with many scenes making me feel a genuine sympathy and sadness for certain characters and the situation that they were stuck in. All this combined gives more than enough reason for me to recommend this show to you. Without a doubt, I believe Arcane League of Legends deserves 5 stars, an amazing complex story and world brought together by its magnificent animation and art style. So if you're a critic or just an ordinary moviegoer, this show is a definitely a must watch. Hi, my name is Chow, and Homecoming just happened last week, and it was great. But this week, we're going to be asking students what improvements could Homecoming and Spirit Week could be done next year. What improvements could be made for Homecoming or Spirit Week um, next year? Um, I think it would be great if maybe we had some student voice in the days that we have and maybe we can vote for um, the spirit days that we do have um, and maybe we can have some like inter-class competitions like what class shows the most school spirit. Get everyone involved. That's great. Thank you so much. I feel like they should include Mexican music in that thing because, like, honestly, like, I don't know. I feel like we also get lit, so they should also include that. So, yeah. Honestly, I feel the same. I've heard some, I didn't go to homecoming, but um, I heard some things. Like, it wasn't, like, eh, it was mid. But, like, um, yeah, like she said, and probably just, like, more, it being more diverse. Yeah. Thank you, guys. I think improvements for homecoming are restrictions and just kind of, knowing what days to put it on. I know a lot of people who couldn't go because it was a holiday or some people who couldn't go because it was a restriction. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe just making homecoming more available to others, I think would really help like attendance. Okay. Um, for homecoming, they could order pizza because they did it last year, but then this year they only had like chips and stuff. So order pizza. <laughs> I would have ate so much pizza. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I think the Spirit Week could be a bit more creative. I think what we've heard for Spirit Week was like something that we've heard a bunch before. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, I feel like I feel like there was like an outage in the uh, the DJ, so probably fix that as well, mm. and then fix the music. So some of the music it was like a little iffy, but oh. just fix it, and then like add water <laughs> as well. Didn't water? They didn't have water. Oh, that's crazy. They didn't have water, and I was like thirsty, so. <laughs> I, I, I had to leave like 30 minutes uh, before the before I ended just to get water outside. Damn, that's crazy. Right, well, thank you for your time, man. All right, bet. Um, we could try like choosing our own themes instead of having them choose it for us. I think that would be like better. And also for homecoming, I think they could like I've never went before, but from what I've seen, like the decorations and stuff could be a little better. But it's it's nice though. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much. So today I'm here with my best friend, you know. Miss Reardon. Mm -hmm. And the question is, what do you think we need to put on for Hoko or Spirit Week? Um, for Well, you know, I'm a big Spirit Week fan. And uh, mostly I just think more people need to participate in Spirit Week. I know Pajama Day is easy, but the other days can be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to buy anything. You just have to, like, go into your closet yeah. and get a little crazy. That's my awesome. question is, what do you think we need to improve on for Hoko next year? I think the food, the prices were low-key absurd. Um, I came and there was like a, it wasn't, it wasn't even like, it was a regular side of Coca-Cola. It was two dollars. At the store, I get them for like ninety-nine cents. Do better, son. Yeah, look, it's kind of crazy, right? Your own school, you gotta pay for snacks. That's what I'm saying, bro. And then the Rice Krispies. I mean, not Rice Krispies, um, Reese's. All right, I'm done with this. It's fine, man. That is all we have for today. Hopefully we see some of these improvements next year. Let's send to sports.
Vlogs. I'm Emiliano De La Rosa. I'm Brian Acosta. And, and we're, we're back, back for another, another sports segment. segment. Today, we are starting off with swimming. On Thursday, October 10th, the girls swim team took a huge win against Carl Schurz, beating them 60 to 30, crowning themselves first in our conference. Special shout outs to freshman Nina Bigelow for her personal best in her 500, sophomore Ruby Andrade for her personal best in her IM, and all of our seniors for their hard work and dedication to the team. Keep crushing it. Moving on to soccer, the boys soccer team also had a game Thursday against Northside College Prep. They won 4-0 on Northside senior night and homecoming game. Special shout outs to senior Brandon Achagan for scoring three goals, senior Edwin Gonzalez, freshman Santi Velasquez, and junior Fullerin for their assist, and sophomore Hug Johnson for keeping a clean sheet the whole game. Last but not least, we have our very own football homecoming game. On Friday, October 11th, unfortunately, Sands football team came up short but fought to the very end with a score of 0 to 26. We'll get them next year. We are all super proud of the team for and very thankful for everyone on their way to attend and cheer us on. Last Friday at Winnemac Stadium, Sen fans cheered hard for their Bulldogs, who played Sullivan in their homecoming game. During halftime, the homecoming court was announced. Unfortunately, the Bulldogs lost 26 to nothing, but they played hard and the fans cheered them on. You guys got it. I hope you guys win this game. Speaking of cheer, let's give a warm welcome to our cheerleaders who showed up and poured their hearts out for the team from start to finish. Junior Iman Kimto made a video profiling the cheerleading squad. Let's take a look. Okay guys, so it's me, Iman, your recorder. As you can see, I got a full beat on. We're out here at Rockney Stadium. So excited, so lit, so ready to go. Okay, my name Corey. My name Makaya. Okay, something I'm excited for is cheering because I know we're gonna have that in the bag. But something I'm nervous for is losing because, like, <sighs> that's gonna be scary. Okay, I'm excited for the cheers we about to do because I'm finna show them where I really come from. But I'm nervous because, um, <laughs> I don't even know. I'm just behind the scenes before the game. Yulia, how do you feel? I don't feel. No emotion, just motion. Type yeah. How you Excited and scared. My name is Bella Swan, and <laughs> Girls, keep up. and I feel I feel so excited. Like I'm literally so happy. Like we are gonna win, and I basically yelled at the boys like eight million times, so they understand that we have to win. Well, I feel I'm nervous <laughs> because what if I mess up? But we'll be fine, we'll be fine. I, um, yeah, with to zero. I was gonna say reporting live, but that's cringy as hell. Anyway, my name is Maylee, and one thing I'm excited for is obviously playing in this beautiful stadium. Right now, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The thing is up there, our, our name is up there, guys. I don't know if y'all can see it, yeah. It says, we came to win, and see it, we came to win. Now, if we lose, this vlog, no comment. That's all we have for today. Make sure to stay tuned for our football team and senior night. We'll catch you next time.